Hi, welcome back. In this video, we'll be learning how to edit our trick photography shot. So we, in, in the trick photography section, we've been looking at a shot called as a levitation shot in which we wanted to make things or objects or people fly or give the illusion that they're flying in the air. So let's see that after we've got the images or the shots that were required that were taught in the chapter, uh, it's time to take them to Photoshop to edit them. So let's see how the process of editing those shots go. So I want you to go to file, open, then open levitation one and two together. So or you can just open them one by one. So this was our first image. And open levitation two. So you got two images as described in the chapter. And what you do is Again, we'll be using the superimposing technique here. So what you do is you drag out the image which has the setup and then we use the move tool to place it over the image which has nothing. So make sure they're together and how you can verify that is if I just hide this layer so you can see it's moving. So that means they're not completely aligned right now. So just probably so now they are you can see completely aligned and if you cannot manually 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 align these images what you can do is just select both of them together go to edit and click on auto align layers but we won't be doing that right now so because we've been able to do it manually because we get it. so the effect that you should get is when you hide this top layer it should look everything should look exactly the same except for the setup objects once that's the case it's very easy all you have to do is select the top layer use your eraser zoom in and then just remove the setup so you, you won't remove the cup of course because the cup is what is going to be flying in the shot so just So of course you'll have to really zoom in because when it comes to the part where the setup is touching the object you just have to be really careful around the edges of course since i'm just showing you here i won't really spend that much time on it but all i have to do is just get rid of this so once you keep see of course so you can just probably zoom out now because it's much easier to work on the whole setup so you can just increase my eraser size and then just remove everything and now you can see if I just zoom out that we've got a shot and then you just save this as a JPEG image and you're ready to go so let's just have a look at another shot like this which you've already seen so I want you to select open levitation 3 and levitation 4 And once you have these, again the same principle, you just drag the one with the setup and paste it over. Make sure they're aligned together. They are, you can see, it's completely only the subjects are the difference. And of course, then you just zoom in, take the eraser, and just have fun. So this will be slightly more challenging to edit because. There are people and there's a lot of stuff just touching the subject and the setup. So you just have to be careful, of course. I'm not going to be that careful. It can take time. But at least I can just show you how it works. So any part which is near the foot, for example, here will be tough to edit. So you'll have to really zoom in and do it. Otherwise, you can risk hitting the leg. So of course, don't do that. You have to be careful. And that's how you edit levitation photography shots. So I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.